In real-world applications, you find many instances of a model's state changing in real time. Take Facebook, for example. Have you noticed that when someone comments on your post or likes it, you would immediately see the result? You don't have to refresh the page to see the changes. So how does this work? There are two common ways to implement something like this. One way is to repeatedly ask the server if the state of a model is changed. But this can be costly as the application grows. There is another way which is called push or push notifications in which the server notifies every client that's interested to know about the changes. Either way, the model that's residing on the client inside the user's browser is updated. At this point, we need to refresh the view based on the content of the model. Let's see this in action. Here, I've got a basic view that renders the title of a song as well as the number of users listening to it now. Let's see this in Chrome. So no one is currently listening to this song. Now, I'm going to use the console to simulate a situation where the number of listeners changes. So I'm going to update the state of the model by setting the listener's attribute. Note that the view is not refreshed. So we need to make the view listen to the changes in the model and update itself accordingly. So let's go ahead and implement this. You have already seen the initialize method before. It's called when we instantiate a backbone object. Here, we are using the on method to register a handler for the change event of the model. All backbone models publish a change event whenever one of their attributes is changed. Earlier, I told you that backbone models store attributes in a hash, which is the reason why we have to use the get and set methods to work with the attributes of models. Backbone developers have used this technique so that they can keep track of changes in the attributes and publish events. If you set the attributes directly on a model, keeping track of changes would be hard or impossible. So here we are registering the render method as the callback when the change event is triggered. The third parameter is to set the context. We need to set the context to the view itself when the render method is called. Otherwise, the context would be set to the model. Now let's see if it's working. So currently no one is listening to this song. Now we set the number of listeners behind the scene. There you go. The view updated immediately. Now food for thought. You don't always have to call the render method when the model state changes, even though this is quite common. Sometimes you may want to display a message somewhere else or apply some CSS class to an element to highlight some fact to the user. In that case, you would create a separate callback function like on model change. So, to handle model events, we use the on method to register handlers for them. Backbone models raise a change event when the state of a model is changed. In the next lecture, we'll cover how to respond to the events raised by backbone collections. Thank you for watching.